Of course, so David, a 3-2 defeat today at Clitheroe. Do you, do you feel hard done by by the result? Um, probably on the balance of play, yes. But in the first 30 minutes, the only positive I could take was that we were 5-0 down. We were awful for 30 minutes. As good as we were Tuesday, we were bad today. We didn't get, we didn't win any second balls. Uh, we didn't get our foot on the ball. We weren't passing it. Um, we, I mean, we got done by a, by a, a long ball and a, and a cross where we, we just give them all day to put the ball in. Um, we were shocking. We, we woke up after about 35, 40 minutes, and then second half showed a lot of character. Um, other than the goal, I don't think Tom had a save to make second half, and we we created a few good chances. Mason had two very big chances. Um, and we probably should have taken something from the game on balance, at least a point. Some positive, imp some positive to take out the game today, and the the impact of both substitutions that you made today, Connor and Harry, played. We've got that. I mean, Jack Bannister and, and Mason um, have been excellent for a few weeks. I don't think either of them were as good as they have been. They weren't bad, but they weren't as good as they, they have been. Um, I mean, Connor and, and uh, Harry on the bench offer different things to them, uh, different things to Brownie. Connor's very much off the shoulder and, and he showed that with his goal, very much a poacher side finish, which, which Connor has. And, and probably gives you a bit more pace and power and directness than, than either Mason or Banny. So it's a good front five that we have to pick three from. Uh, He's, we'll need them. We'll need all of them. We'll need different strengths at different games. So it's good to see. And as I said, we should have we should have nicked something at the end. Okay. So an another positive to take out today, Freddie Sass. We've we've said a couple of times, good performances. Got a goal for himself today yeah. as well. But looked really good down that left hand side again. Freddie's uh, a very very good left back. He's two footed. He's strong. It's great in the air. He won a, quite a few headers against Sefton. Um, very fit. Gets up and down and. And, and he has got an eye for goal. He kept asking us on set pieces, kind of go forward. We, we keep him back because of his pace, and he, he, he's great covering at the back. But he's got a couple of tag casts, and you know, for, for your left back to be drilling that in with his right foot, um, it, it's a big bonus for us. He's been he's been superb, and uh, he's going to be a very very good footballer. I think he's still only 20 years old, so there's a lot more to come from him. And then we move on. A uh, couple of games coming up. Thoughts on how you're going to get prepared and pick the lads up after after today? We've just talked. There's not a lot to say. The lads know themselves. Um, Keo said in in there we've we've, we've got a choice. We're either the the, uh, the Mosley that we were in the second half or the Mosley that we were in the first half. And if we're the Mosley in the second half, we've still got half a chance. You know, we we, we can beat anybody playing like that. If the Mosley in the first half, we might as well put our put our speedos on and go to the beach now. Um, so it's up to the lads. You know, they they know they know what they need to do. They didn't execute the game plan today. Um, they were just off it in the first half, but the character they showed. So it's about just regrouping, sticking to our principles, sticking to our guns, just preparing right, working hard in training. Um, there will be no radical changes. It will just be about making sure we're on it for the first minute next week. Thanks, David. Cheers, Nate.